everybody, my name is Lily and this is my channel Lily from the Novel and today I'm coming to you with my June book haul. I actually thought that I won't be uploading the book haul every single month, I thought to do like season book hauls like fall book haul, summer book haul, spring book haul and winter book haul. So at the beginning of the month actually I went to Turkey with my friends and with my teacher, it has been a blast. And I'm first going to mention a couple of books that I really got here in Sarajevo and other books that I got there, so yeah. Let's see. So this summer is really going to be busy for me. I'm just going to work on my uh, mathematical skills, I can say, this summer. And I decided to pick uh, two of these books up. So the first book that I got in that mathematical field is this mathematical problem book. This is actually composed with one of our most famous and the best mathematicians really in Sarajevo, uh, Professor Shevket Arslanagic. So he was really kind enough to sign this book for me, which I'm really happy about. Uh, I mostly have signed books by some of the professors or mathematicians or whatever. I don't really have signed books in any other field. So I'm really happy when I have these books and I got the other one. It's this one, Nedirajte moje krugove, or in English, Don't Touch My Circles, which is funny. So this is really just a book uh, about a lot of famous mathematicians, really, and about what they... Oh dear. So this is actually a book about a lot of a lot of different mathematicians and about the things that actually came up with, and I've actually kind of flew through this book again also, and I loved it, I loved the way it's written, and I really can't wait to just sit with my notes and kind of go through every single one. I really like to read about mathematics and different mathematicians in general, and there's a really good channel, one on YouTube, if you haven't really seen it, it's really good, it's called Numberphile, and guys there really talk about beauties and mathematics and all the other mathematical things really, and it's really good, it's really easy to understand if you're really not into mathematics, so I'm going to link it down below for you. Having these books and both uh, signed by Sharif Ketar I was really happy about them, I was like, if I don't get any other books this month, this is going to be really enough for me. I don't know if you can see it, see, 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 see. When I went to Turkey in that family, we actually went to tour the Fatih University, that's a really good university out there, even though I'm not thinking about Turkey when I think of studying abroad, but I don't know really what's going to happen for two years, but they were really nice to me. I told them that I love mathematics and I got these two books from them. And this is Contemporary Analysis and Applied Mathematics, and this is Some Problems of Applied Mathematics. So Applied Mathematics is something that is really advanced for me now, and I'm probably not going to work through these books sometime, maybe in the future when I go in depth uh, into mathematics, I guess, more, and I'm really happy to have gotten them, and yeah, this is just a mathematical part of this haul. So, there are a lot of themes in this haul, I've noticed. I'm fluent in English, obviously, I don't know if I'm calling myself fluent in English. <laughs> I'm good, really, in English, Bosnian is my first language. I was working on my third language, and it's Turkish. I am I can talk, really, in Turkish for a long time. I can film my video in Turkish if you want. I've been studying Turkish just for two years, and I'm amazing. <laughs> Really, I'm amazed with everything that I've learned by now. And I've got these three interesting books. So they're like the world's classics, but really written a different way. And this is like Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol, Stories by O. Henry. And this is, again, Charles Dickens' A Haunted House. This is written in English and this is written in Turkish. Completely same, like a parallel. The same thing is written here, same thing is written here in these two different languages. So if I really want to uh, work on my Turkish, I can just kind of analyze, I can read kind of in English and analyze it in Turkish, find words that I don't know. I got The Girl Who's Left Behind by Jojo Moyes. Uh, Jojo Moyes. I believe that I said it right, I don't know. And it's really complicated for everyone, I believe, to pronounce all these surnames. So this is actually author of the book, Me Before You. It definitely sounds interesting to me, so this is definitely not going to stay unread for a million years on my bookshelves, so... <laughs> so the last, the smallest, and the most beautiful book that I have in this haul is this one that I'm going to show you right now, and it is Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. Salinger, I believe. How much was this? It was like 8 euros, I believe, and it was not a good deal at all. But I just wanted it. It was so cute and adorable. It was just kind of calling my name. Font is like miniaturist. Look at this. I mean, it's the tiniest font ever. But I told you a couple of videos ago that I really wanted to go um, look more into the progress of being wildflower, and I've heard 
somewhere that there is some kind of connection between these two books. Yeah, and I also visited American Corner, like, books in English library, stuff like that. And I got this book and I already actually read it in my life in black and white by Natasha Friend. I actually shared all the thoughts with you in the previous video that I posted, like, review of this book. But there are going to be a lot of more of these uh, library book reviews coming up, so yeah, stay tuned for these. I'm gonna link down below and a little talk about this book, I guess. So I I got the most cutest bookmarks ever. So I got three of these big ones and they were all one Turkish lira each. So it's like a one fox thingy or whatever would you use that there. This one is just kind of random words really written on there, but it's so cute and has this like, little thing out here. And this one I'm actually using for the Kill a Mockingbird because it's white and red just like the book and it says Sense is Hayat Çok Bayat, which means like life without you is really horrible and has those little giraffes and they're really adorable. And I got four of these apparently. There's one more somewhere and I can't really find it but that's like the cutest one. I believe that I put it in some of the books but I don't know which one. Uh, yeah. huh. I know. So another thing that I got there, there were also one lira each. These beautiful like magnetic bookmarks and they're like the cutest thing really that you can imagine and the cheapest thing really for bookmarks. So I uh, now I have a lot of these right here uh, chilling on my shelf and I'm using them really frequently. I hope that you liked uh, this another book haul video and check out all the things that I have linked down below for you guys. Oh yeah, that's it for this video. Leave a nice comment, like, subscribe if you haven't and yeah, see you, see you, whatever. <laughs> see you, <laughs> bye.